Hey guys, so today I'm going to be looking at people who wear their asses. Yeah, let's just get right into the video. I met my husband eight years ago and we have been married for six. He has an 11 year old daughter from a previous relationship. I work from home so I mainly end up taking care of her. I have since she was young. We have a generally good relationship. She stays at her mother's most weekends. She has incredibly long blonde wavy hair just past her bottom. It's a nightmare to take care of. It frequently tangles and she always needs help brushing and styling it before school. I'm not a morning person and I do not like having to wake up early to do a kid's hair. It's expensive to maintain as she requires more products. She also insists that she has to use curly hair shampoo instead of regular shampoo and conditioner which is often over $10 per bottle and she goes through it at a fast rate. She won't use a regular brush on it as she insists it breaks her hair and it hurts so she uses a white tooth comb which takes a long time to brush when she could be doing more productive things such as homework or helping me with chores. I decided she had become obsessed with her hair and I do not want her to become vain so I decided it needs to be cut. I don't see it as a big deal as I have always had shoulder length hair as my hair does not grow very fast and I get frequent trims. It's a lot more practical. I took her to the hairdressers as normal. In the way on the car she says she wants to make sure the hairdresser doesn't cut too much. I politely explained that I would like her to cut her hair to shoulder length as it has become a burden. At first she thought I was joking but when she realized she started to cry. When we got to the salon the hairdresser was reluctant to cut her hair due to her tears but I explained the trouble we have maintaining it and assured cutting it would be the best for her. In the end the stylist agreed and cut her hair. <gasps> The stylist braided her hair then cut it. She kept it. Her hair was now just past shoulder length and it looked a lot darker. I am so sad for her. The car journey home was silent. I offered her McDonald's but she refused. She went straight to her room when we got back. <gasps> There's no way. No way you cut a kid's hair like that. No freaking way. As if. Oh my gosh. And this mum is probably going to wonder why her stepdaughter doesn't love her. <laughs> you seriously did that to her? That's crazy. You know, hair to a kid is like everything. Like even this mum knows how much the kid likes her hair. Like she spends so much time on her hair. Hair oil, hair brushes, maintains it like so much. Right, that obviously means she loves her hair so much and you're going to make her cut her hair? No way. And she's such a good kid that she didn't even throw a tantrum in the salon and she just let people cut her hair. I feel so bad for her, man. I feel so bad. This mom, asshole for sure, man. You, I have no words for you, seriously. <laughs> You're so terrible. Just because you have shorter length hair and you can't grow your hair, you're gonna make your kid cut their own hair because you don't wanna style it and you don't wanna maintain it for them? That's your job though. You got into a relationship with someone who has a daughter. So that's your job now, okay? You gotta take care of them like they're your own daughter too because you chose to be in this relationship. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. My husband went up to see her when he got home and apparently found her on her bed sobbing holding her old hair. My husband immediately called her mother to come and collect her and as soon as my stepdaughter was at the door he started yelling. Her mother also came in and gave me a mouthful. I explained my reasoning but my husband wouldn't budge. He said if I had an issue he would have did her hair in the mornings and that he didn't mind paying for the products. He was so furious he said he no longer trusts me around his daughter and doesn't know if he can be with a woman who he doesn't trust with her. This broke my heart. Wow, even at this moment you're only thinking about yourself? You're not thinking about the people that you hurt? crazy. I didn't mean her any harm. I was just so tired and I'm trying to reduce stress. I've always been the one to raise her and her brother and I'm just exhausted. Okay, play victim, why don't you? All right, all right. Oh my god, I'm just so tired of raising kids. Well, you got into the relationship knowing that, silly. If you don't want to raise any kids, then don't be with a man who has kids. This pisses me off so bad. The poor kid. Dude, I remember when I was a kid, and I didn't even have long hair, okay? Like, my hair was already short. But, like, my mom cut it into, like, shorter. <laughs> and I was, like, crying because it looked so bad. So, man, I just understand how the kid feels. Like, her hair was probably, like, Rapunzel, right? 
And then they just cut a snip. Oh, jeez. I'm heartbroken for the kid. <sighs> this mum sucks, man. The fact that she decides to cut her hair because she's like, I'm just stressed. I don't have time to, you know, do your hair. Like, okay. Well then, if you don't have time to do it, tell the kid that she has to do her own hair now. She has to learn to do her own hair. Like, give her options. Oh my gosh. I'm so angry. All right, moving on. One of my best friends got married last week. He drinks alcohol and our friend group will meet up at breweries a few times a month to hang out. His fiance and our wife does not drink. It's never been a part of her life. My wife and I got a hotel room by the reception space and Uber to the wedding. The ceremony occurs. We go to what's supposed to be cocktail hour and there was just soda and water, no alcohol. This was not something we knew ahead of time. There was a palpable buzz among our friend group at the lack of booze. A lot of us had spent money on a hotel room and Ubering anticipating drinking. I'm kind of pissed. Bride and groom come to cocktail hour. Everyone cheers. And when the bride and groom come mingle with us, I ask, where's the booze? His new wife chimes in saying her family does not drink and they were paying for the wedding. Thus, no alcohol. I tell them we should know that ahead of time. I say I wasted money on a hotel room and Ubering. I would have just driven if I'd known or maybe not even had come. The bride does not take my commentary well and implies I might have a drinking problem. I don't. I only drink with my friends. Are you sure? <laughs> Why are you so mad there's no <laughs> booze? Why? Seriously. You can drink in your own time then. Like if there's no alcohol, all right. After the wedding, go home and drink away. Like just be there and be happy for your friends. Like why are you getting it mad because there's no alcohol? Like, so they literally just came for the alcohol. They didn't even come for the friends. <laughs> wow, is that how people are like? I didn't know that. The groom says, I don't need to be such an asshole. I reiterate that I spent a bunch of money on something I didn't need. We all did. The bride's pissed at me and asks me to leave. My wife and I leave, but it's clear I touched a nerve. In our group chat, friends were mixed on me saying something. My wife said I wasn't wrong, but my timing was wrong. So was I the asshole? Yes. <laughs> so it's like, even if you think, oh my God, there's no alcohol, you shouldn't say it, okay? Just be happy for them and make it their day. Don't show them that you're pissed about something on their wedding day. Seriously, if you're mad about it, just keep it to yourself. How are you guys best friends? If you're like, if I had known there's no alcohol, I wouldn't have come to the wedding. Okay, so you're just coming for the alcohol, not for your best friend. <laughs> what the heck? So I guess alcohol is more important to him than his friends, eh? Yeah. It feels like he might have an alcohol problem then. Like if you care more about the alcohol than care about celebrating the happiness of someone that you're so close to, there is something wrong with you. My son just graduated high school and we were paying so he could go on a road trip with his friends. He was supposed to go Wednesday. My wife's mother and father got in a car accident. They live in another state so we had to drive about four hours. My wife was in a wreck and wasn't in the position to drive since we hear her dad was critical. He pulled through luckily. We have two other kids, 11 and 7. We can't leave them at home alone and we couldn't find a sitter to watch them on such short notice. We even tried our neighbours but he couldn't do it. So that left our 18 year old. He was pissed to put it mildly but did it. I told him we would make it up to him and if you could ask if his friend could move it back a week. They couldn't sadly. We were gone for two days. He pulled through. My wife stayed and I headed back. I paid for him for watching the kids and went to talk to him about him getting on the trip. It was supposed to be two weeks and they should just be a state over. He blows up about ruining his trip and there's no point going even though there should still be 12 days of the trip. He called me a jerk and locked himself in his room. I need another opinion since this was an emergency and he doesn't seem to care his grandparents almost passed. So are we saying the son is the asshole? <laughs> I don't think this person was wrong at all because you know your head is like all muddled up when things like this happen right and obviously you don't think straight you don't think logically so you're just like okay the adults will just go and visit and see what's going on and the kids can stay home and then you know the oldest kid can watch over the two other kids for a bit it wasn't even long two days right I feel like that's what the brother should have done as the eldest though like you know you're 18 years old you should know better your grandparents are in a car accident they almost passed and you still only care about your road trip 
I mean, like, yeah, it sucks that you couldn't have went to your road trip, but why don't you care about your grandparents? That's crazy. See, this is what happens when you raise your kids to be spoiled. They don't care about anyone else but themselves. And it's the fact that he still had 12 days of the trip, like, he could still go. Why is he throwing a tantrum? You're 18 years old. He's giving it up because he lost two days of the trip? That doesn't make sense. Yeah, the kid's the ass, I don't care. <laughs> Honestly, in this post, it said the parents were the asses, but I don't think so. I think the kid is the one that's just not thinking straight. Like, don't, you're 18, you're old enough to know better. Well, that's it for the video, hope you guys enjoy. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are, and as always, thanks for watching, hope you guys liked it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!